Hello, this is Allison Rapp, and today is day 37 of our video challenge to help you get the Feldenkrais practice you want. And you know, it's funny, but every time I say, get the Feldenkrais practice you want, I'm reminded of something that happened when I was in my training with Moshe. I went up to him one day and I said, you know, Moshe, I heard this thing about when you know what you're doing, you can get what you want. And he looked at me like, you know, this girl has rocks in her head. And I said, I figured out something that's more important than that. And now he was really ticked. But he listened. And I said, what I figured out is that if I don't know what I want, I can't get what I want, even if I know what I'm doing. And now he looked at me and he smiled and he said, you're on the right track now. And I've taken that as a guiding principle in my whole life since then, because what I realize is that it's just like that in getting the Feldenkrais practice I want. And that's what I want to give you today, is a way of looking at what your practice could be so that you know what it is that you want. So here's the thing. Take a few minutes and just think, what do you want in terms of numbers of people? How many hours a week do you want to work? How many ATMs do you want to give? How much time off do you want? You need to think about all these things because if you're building a practice or tweaking a practice, if you don't have an idea of what you're looking for, you're never going to get there. And if by some chance you do get there, you won't recognize it, so you won't be able to enjoy it. And that's the whole point, to enjoy what we're doing so that it doesn't feel like work and we never really have to stop because we're having such a good time. So that's my message for today. I'm happy to be here with you and I hope that you'll come again tomorrow. Bye-bye.